All right, so today we're going to install the Pixel K DMD. So this is for pinball, but as with all Pixel Ks, um, Pixel K supports both pinball as well as arcade mode. So it is meant for DMD, but you can also run it in arcade mode or you can run both, actually. So let's just inspect our kit. So we've got our two, these are called P2.5 LED panels. 64 by 32 each or 132 by um, 128 by 32 resolution power supply USB cable we got our laser cut mounts here this is optional this is the um, front diffuser this masking tape will peel off um, I do recommend that but <clears throat> it really depends on your installation if you have room for that custom power cable we've got some ribbon cables our board and then we got a board mount. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, and we also need a couple zip ties as well. So let's take our laser cut mount. And the first thing you wanna do is just peel off the masking tape. So let's flip it back over. So the side that's got the text on is the side we want facing up. And first thing let's do, let's take our, so again, <clears throat> the side that's got the text, you'll see an up sign here as well as Pixel K DMD. That's the one you want facing up. Let's take our zip tie, and this is just helps us with the cable management. And then in this little bag here, we've got all of our hardware. So let's just go ahead and just take this out. And then the first thing you want to grab, you're going to see some um, machine nylon machine screws. Grab the white ones. There's also black ones. The white ones are slightly longer. So grab the white ones first. And then take your mount. And then in the middle here, you're going to see there's four holes. So... Go ahead and take those. And then got a little driver tool like this. This is a little faster. If not, don't worry about it. You can just you can just go like this and tighten it by hand. Just takes a little bit longer. Okay, and then you actually want to take another set and just put another hex nut on top of that existing one. And the reason why we're doing that is just to add some extra space because we're going to route some cables. The board is going to sit on top of this. We're going to route some cables and we want a little bit extra vertical clearance. So that's why we're doing it. The second set, you probably got to do that by hand. Okay, so we got that. So just take a look there, kind of make sure you got the right holes lined up. And then this board is actually going to go like this. Um, but before we do that, let's go ahead and mount our LED panels. So let's take our panels. You want to be careful here. Make sure the arrows are both pointing up as well as from left to right. So, just like that. And you can actually screw up because once you put this guy on, you'll know if you made a mistake right away. Just line up the holes, just like that. And so if you did it right, you'll see that these cutouts line up to the power connector and the IDC cable connector, so you can't really mess that up. And then you're just gonna take your screws all right, so we've got a bunch of machine screws here. Let's just take these and screw them in. And you don't have to tighten these down so much. Just hand tight is fine. No need to make it super tight. Alright, so we got everything screwed in, so you can kind of see what it looks like on that side. 
And then now let's take our, now you're gonna have two ribbon cables. One is gonna be a little bit shorter. So take the shorter one and then just connect from here to here. And you'll note that these connectors are notched. So you cannot um, make a mistake. They only go in one way. So that makes it nice and easy for you. Okay, so that's one. And then this one we're gonna do later. But let's go ahead and now do the power. So this is a custom power cable just for this project. And <clears throat> we just kind of fast forward here. So the board is actually gonna go like this. Power connectors on this side. So if I look at the cable, I wanna take the power connector having it facing this way toward this side. So that's how I know what Put my cable. So again, I got my cable, I got my female, got my male. Um, and again, these are also notched, so they only go in one way. I think I'm putting it in the wrong way. There we go. Okay. And then now we're going to put our board on. And before we do that, actually, with our board, let's take off the masking tape on the board as well. This is a laser cut board mount. Let's just take off the masking tape. And let's take our board mount and we're gonna look for this time, last time we did the four white uh, machines, nylon machine screws. This time we're gonna do the four black ones. So just take the black ones and then on each side on the bottom, just go like so. So it's just going to look like this. Okay, so let's set that aside for the moment. All right, so with this cable, remember the male end is going to be towards the right side, and then this female end is eventually going to plug into your power cord, so we don't need to worry about that for the moment. So let's just go ahead and kind of string the wire like this, and then we'll take this board here, and you'll see it says USB. Make sure the USB is towards the right. So just like that. And then now just take your hex nuts and let's just go ahead and secure in this board. All right, so we'll deal with these cables here in a second. Uh, but now we got the board mount on there. Let's go ahead now actually put on the board. So the board where so the USB is pointing to the right. This is the USB. So we want it in this orientation. So we'll just go ahead and pop the board on there. Okay. And then we'll just take four more of those hex nuts and just secure the board. And again, you know, just hand tight does not need to be too tight. Don't worry about that. Okay, so we've got our board on. Let's just kind of look at it. This looks pretty good. Okay, now we'll take that um, other ribbon cable here and one end is gonna go into the board. Again, it's not, it only goes in one way and the other end, and you'll have to twist the cable, is gonna go into the first LED panel. Again, they're notched, so it only goes in one way. You just kind of bend the cables down. That's what these zip ties are for to, to um, clean up the cables a little bit. Okay, so now let's deal with this side over here. So actually, before we do that, why don't we turn everything on, make sure everything's working as it should before we clamp down the final cables. Okay, so normally you'd use your power supply. I'm in my shop, so I've got some shop power here. I'm just going to plug it in. Actually, before, I forgot to plug this into the board. And then this is going to go to your power supply. Okay, so you plug it in, you'll see the red light comes on. If we turn it over, we should see the Pixelcade logo. So we know everything is good, so let's go ahead and turn it off.
And then now let's just tidy up our cables. So what I would do here, just kind of on the end, just wrap it over. And take our zip tie. Take one more zip tie here for the end. And then we'll take our zip tie here on the left as well and cinch that down too. Wouldn't make these super tight, just tight enough to cinch the cable down. So that is it. Um, these mounting holes are in the front, are again to mount this with your on your pin cap. So you just kind of screw it in on your pin cap, and then it comes with some wood screws. Okay, so it comes with these six wood screws here, and yeah, you, know, you probably only need to do the sides. You can do the middle ones, I guess, if you want to. Um, but those just go in like that and just screw right in. And then this is optional, but if your if your installation allows for it, I would recommend to use this diffuser. So the diffuser will just go on top, and then what you would do actually is you take these hex stands. These are included as well. four hex stands and then you would just basically screw them in on the bottom like so again you may depending on your pin cab install you may have a different way to to do this so leave that up to you put in the other hex stands over here and then just plop it on like that and then you take these these thumb um, thumb screws here and just screw them screw it in like this of course you take off this masking tape um, once you take off the masking tape this is going to be a tinted plex which will diffuse the LEDs for you so that is it I hope that was helpful um, again so here we are uh, only other last thing is make sure on the back that this toggle switch is pointing towards the bottom. The bottom means USB. If it's pointing towards the top, it's um, set for Bluetooth, which you won't use in the pin pinball use case. So, and by default, it is pointing down. So you shouldn't have to worry about that. But just just in case we're troubleshooting, make sure this toggle switch is pointing down. Again, that's the default. And then you'll just plug in your USB cable, like so. One end goes in here. The other end goes to your host, which if you're doing pinball is typically a Windows computer. And then of course your power supply here, 5 volts, 10 amps. So very important, everything here runs on 5 volts, do not run it on 12 volts. Unfortunately that will fry everything and um, it will all be ruined. So definitely please only use the included power supply that comes with it. And that's it, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks a lot.